So there's nothing more annoying than going to a fabulous course or, you know, continuing ed or something that really gets you hyped up about coming back and doing something really cool in your practice and not being able to get it implemented when you get it home. And the team rolling their eyes at you when you, uh, you know, you get back and, oh, doctor's at it again, you know, he or she has heard something else new and they want to, you know, change up the whole system that we have in the office. So um, we've devised what we think is, you know, a pretty great implementation system. So when we bring something back, how do we take care of that in our practice? Well, a lot of times it's, um, you know, we like to go to things together as much as we can, but yeah. that's not always possible. Right. So we've kind of divided and conquered and gone to the things that, you know, we can divide and conquer on. Sure. And so we really so had we to get create, to twice as much stuff. Yeah, and we had <laughs> to really create an implementation strategy for the things that we weren't both at as well as the things that we were both at. So right. we found that the system really came about when we were going to think separately, but we really needed it for when we went to things together as well. Right. And so what we did was we kind of came up with a system that when we go to something, we come back and we have to meet with each other about it no later than a week after we get back. And usually within a few days. Yeah, and normally it's a few days, but our deadline is a week. We have a week to sit down and meet about it. And so we go over what we went over at the, um, you know, what we learned, what we want to implement, um, what we're excited about, yeah. and come up with a strategy on right. how we're going to implement it, right. who's going to be in charge of it, and a deadline for the implementation. Right. And more importantly, too, is how it's going to benefit our patients, too. Yes. You know, I mean, how does bringing this into the practice, I mean, a good example would be sleep apnea devices. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, how is that going to benefit our patients? Well, we already have a lot of patients within the practice that fit that criteria that they could really use a device and it could improve their quality of life. So that's something where, you know, step by step, then we figure out how we go from point A to whatever point we need to reach. Yeah, so we um, developed a checklist for our patients to fill out when they get to the um, office. A lot of times they go through it for, um, you know, while the x-rays are being developed or, you know, something like that where they have a little bit of downtime where they're sitting there. They'll fill out the sleep apnea checklist. And then if they have anything on the checklist, you know, that we need to go over. And then the doctor will, has a sleep apnea exam um, questionnaire for them that um, they go over. And then we also created a brochure for our office mm -hmm. for sleep apnea. And that's just an example of a system. But we sat down, figured out mm -hmm. what the things we were going to develop for that and then how it was going to happen and so the brochures went in our um, meeting uh, or our reception area and then the hygienists are talking to their all their all of our existing patients about right. it as well as we started doing uh, free consultations mm -hmm. in some of our marketing mm -hmm. for um, sleep apnea or snoring um, right. I can't remember now what the headline was for it and um, as well as just educating all of our patients and our team as mm -hmm. well on what the devices do, what the benefits are from wearing an oral device versus a CPAP. And then also um, we work very closely with a sleep clinic in our area that will do the sleep studies for us. We don't actually have the devices and right. the at-home devices that we Not use. the sleep clinic that said none of our patients are annoyed by their CPAP. Yeah, no. You definitely, <laughs> we get them pretty early. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to have a, you know, clinic that is, you know, on board with, right, with device, um, oral devices, oral devices. Mm -hmm. but that's an example of, you know, read a lot about it, went to a meeting, our associate doctors um, had gone to a meeting, so met about it, what are the steps that we're mm -hmm. going to take to get this implemented, did everything implemented, got everything, you know, implemented where it needed mm -hmm. to be, but our hygiene coordinator was kind of the one that took that or that was assigned to that right. because it was our hygiene team is where it was starting to you know, talk to our existing patients about it, fill out the checklist, and go from there. So she was in charge of the task that we were implementing. Mm -hmm. And we always say um, we put a 90-day deadline on anything we're implementing. Um, we can dis we discuss it at you know team meetings of you know things that we could do you know that would make it better or things like that. But we never change a system completely for at least 90 days. So it has right. to be in play. We're doing it every day, right. all the time for 90 days. Right. When you say 90 day implementation system, it's not it takes 90 days to get it implemented. You mean we roll with it for 90 days. And then yeah. at the end of 90 days, we'll reevaluate it. But um, I mean, obviously, if some major problem comes up within 90 days that needs to be changed, you know, for, you know, legality reason or something like that, of course, we would change that. But 
ultimately we go with it for 90 days before we make any changes. Yeah. So implementation um, system is go to something, learn something new, really excited about mm -hmm. it, um, meet with your accountability partner, which is what we are right. um, within a week. Uh, decide what the strategy is going to be of implementing it. Give the implementation a deadline. A lot of times we give a week, um, it a week after we present it to the team and figure out who's in charge of it. it we have a week's time to get it implemented and then it stays in play for 90 days um, before we do any major changing on the system. Right. So that is our implementation strategy.